Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're on a road trip to San Miguel we're de Allende. Riding. Look, look, look. Wow. We're riding to Guanajuato. Woo! A city that everybody wanted me to visit since the first time I came to Mexico, basically, which was a long time ago, seven years. Now, we're finally doing it. We're on our way. Are you excited, Joss? Yes, are you excited? I wanted to ask if you were excited. I'm excited, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Our first morning in San Miguel de Allende. I have everything planned. I asked you guys on Instagram to give me recommendations. I've been here before, twice. Yeah. But I've never really done the touristy thing. I only came to party. Great. <laughs> so you guys gave me a bunch of cool places we can visit and we're gonna start with brunch. Okay, so the main plan was to go to the Lavanda Cafe, which is like the spot to have breakfast here in San Miguel de Allende but we woke up pretty late and apparently the waiting times can be for up to two hours so there's a second a plan b that you guys sent me that a lot of you recommended and is less famous i guess and we almost missed it because apparently it's there inside of that store it's pretty loud here as you can see it's a very the city is very <laughs> good I like the place I like the terrace I like the view the food tasted good only thing is I had a grilled cheese sandwich and it had a lot of cheese a lot of cheese are you ready for the next place yes yay let's go you know what's funny about San Miguel as you can see, the sidewalks are so small that only one person can walk there. <laughs> Every single time somebody has to go down on the street because it's just some feet. Ah, that worked. Do you know where we are? No. We are in the Mercado de Artesanía. What? Where, this one? Yeah. Here, so. Okay, so we made it to the Mercado de Artesanías. This is a nice hall that is full of handcrafts. And there's a bunch of just Mexican things that you can buy here. Hopefully they're Mexican because I was scammed before. <laughs> I bought a dress that was supposedly from Oaxaca and then everybody told me on Instagram it was actually from China. <laughs> So hopefully that doesn't happen here. There's four sections and right now we're in the first section. So we arrived to the last section of this market. So many stores, so many things to see. We found one store where we saw something that we might need for our wedding. Uh. But we need a lot of those. So obviously they didn't have it there in the store. But we got the number and maybe we're gonna buy something from here. What? Exciting. For our wedding, what? So now Joss has to tell me what's next because I have no idea. Okay, so now we're gonna explore more. We're gonna walk a little bit and we're going to the most iconic part of San Miguel de Allende. Center. Let's go. I know it. Now you don't know anything, <laughs> weirdo. Today is one of the hottest days of the year so far. It's gonna be 31 degrees. 
Uh, I can already feel it. I'm sweating. I didn't put the other end on. That's why it stinks. I really, I don't stink. Most of the times I don't use the other end. Sure, she doesn't I, stink. For real, I don't need it. Winter in San Luis Potosí is not the greatest because it's pretty cold. Yes. So I was hoping, I was waiting for a warmer day and now it's here and now it's too warm. And now it sucks. <laughs> I wanted to let you know guys, as a Mexican I can tell you that if you're not from San Miguel Allende, you usually know of San Miguel Allende. A lot of people. Oh gosh. Because the sidewalks are so small. Okay, so I wanted to let you know, in case you haven't come to San Miguel Allende. Wait, it's way too dark. Oh, Johnny. Okay, <laughs> round three. In Mexico, we know this town as... What's this car? Oh my god. We know this town as a very Americanized town in Mexico. So even though it looks very Mexican and there's a lot of canned crabs and things like that, there's so many Americans here. It's like the expat paradise. Yeah, in the restaurants you find the menu in English and in Spanish. But I have to say, there are a lot of Americans, but a lot of retired Americans. Mm -hmm. Older Americans that just came here to enjoy the rest of their lives. Yeah, in Mexico. So it's kind of like Mallorca for Germans. Exactly, yeah, exactly. In case you haven't watched our Mallorca video, it's gonna be somewhere there. <laughs> a lot of people in Mexico don't like San Miguel anymore because they say it has become very American and it's not like real Mexico anymore. Okay. Still Mexico. Yeah, especially the culture is still here with yeah. all the stores and handcrafts and my arm is getting tired. Let me see something. And people are walking in front of us. <laughs> yeah, it's very annoying. Oh my god, okay, super loud here. Say. Just talk. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to say that it's quite funny because in the US there's so many Mexicans. doesn't feel like you're in the US. Uh -huh. And it's funny that in Mexico there's a town where there's a bunch of Americans. Wow, awesome. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? By the way, it stinks. <laughs> it stinks like sewage system. So we're getting closer to the city center. Mm -hmm. And here, finally, there's a street without cars because cars cannot walk, walk. Cars cannot drive here. <laughs> Who's getting it, Sony? So the first thing that I think about when somebody mentions San Miguel is art galleries and handcrafts. And right now on the way here, we saw a bunch of art galleries. We went into some. There's a lot of creative people here and there's a bunch of rooftops. You can already see here that a lot of these buildings have rooftops on top. So are you ready to go to the... the real? Are you ready to go to the iconic area? Yes. Yeah? What do you think? If you sneeze. First, I'm gonna need my sunglasses. Uh. Because now the sun is pretty strong. Okay, so we're standing in front of a huge church. And it kind of looks like... Here's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of the Magic Kingdom Disney Castle. Oh, really? Really. How do you like it? I like it. It looks nicer than a lot of the churches I've seen. I think some people also say that it kind of looks like the Sagrada Familia, right? Yeah, like a mini Sagrada Familia. Well, yeah, mini, yeah, but more of a Disney castle. I uh, also like this garden that is typical for Mexico. You it's can find a garden like this in every Mexican city. Yeah, and there's a kiosco. The sun is killing me. I have dark clothes and long sleeves. Yeah, why would you do that? Because this is the only cool San Miguel. It's <laughs> Let's go to the kiosk. Ah, oh, gosh. How can you carry that thing? It's like a sky full of stars. <laughs> Literally. Okay, so the next stop has been ruined. It's nothing is ruined. I wanted to surprise you with something very special that I thought would be amazing for this time of the day. And then, as I was checking it on my phone, Janik was nosy, and he saw it. And he saw it, and now the surprise is drawing. She's next to me, checking her phone like this, for everyone to see, and I'm only I looking at them. <laughs> Babe, I ask you, I ask you not to look at my phone. I was like, I'm gonna look for something on Google Maps. Do not stare at my phone. You didn't say it like First that? First thing you did. First of all, <laughs> I did it like, 
a minute later, I thought by then you're probably done. And second, then just turn your phone like this. <laughs> Do, look at it like this I'm and not like this. Okay, oh, now I know um, I cannot trust you. Sorry for trusting you. <laughs> right. Who was right? Please tell us in the comments who was right in this discussion. Of course, I'm gonna agree with you. They always agree with you. <laughs> no. It's annoying. One time, please also agree with me. <laughs> Let's go get ice cream. Yeah, let's get ice cream. You don't know where we're going. So no. there's two different See, places. I don't even know. I only saw <laughs> the word ice cream. I don't know which place you're taking me. Yeah, there's two places that are supposedly pretty good here in San Miguel de Allende. But there's one that seems more interesting to me. So we're gonna go there. Let's do that. So, I, this was really a great surprise. Yeah. Didn't expect that at all. Cool. Yeah. And now, uh, let's see, I got lemon. And? Very refreshing. Look at them. It's like rolls. And we had this before in Bacalar. And there we made it ourselves. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no. A big corner, dude. So here are two observations that I made. First of all, I feel like the city is very clean, especially compared to San Luis Potosí. The shade, the shade is real. There's some streets where there's so much trash. Yeah, that's true. We were there not long ago. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, right now there's trash there. <laughs> yeah, great. So that was my first observation. And the second one is that I feel like in this city, every house gives you a good opportunity to take a nice photo. Because all the houses have colors. They're red, they're green, they're yellow, they're blue. Yeah, I think they're very well preserved or renovated even. And sometimes when you peek inside, from the inside they also look super cool. Yeah. They have like fountains in the middle and it's all... They have nice gardens, nice. Yeah. backyards. Yeah, and rooftops, a lot of rooftops. Yeah, that's actually a third observation. My observation, even though he wants to take it right now. No, I'm gonna take it to the next level, so wait. I feel like this city is made for tourists. There are so many restaurants, Bars, stores, galleries, and the city is pretty small. You can probably walk from one side to the other in 30 minutes and you're done. Mm -hmm. What's interesting is that it feels like old school, even though it's renovated and touristy and whatnot. I don't see many big chains of like McDonald's, no. Subway. When we looked for hotels, we couldn't find any Ibis hotel. City Express. No, Holiday nothing. Inn. Yeah. Actually, talking about hotels, maybe some of you are wondering where are we staying. Maybe this is helpful for you. So we decided to stay on an Airbnb. We found one that is a little bit outside of the center, but only like 10 minutes walking. It's a private complex. We'll leave it in the description, I guess. Are we? <laughs> Usually we don't, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> right now we're just waiting for our reservation and actually... Actually we have to go. We have to go. But I want to take a couple of photos because this place is so like Instagram worthy and we haven't taken any photo. I'm getting tired. <laughs> back to the church to see it at night the sun is almost that sun is actually gone already and we had a very good time on the rooftop we had a nice view we had a nice drink listening to the nice mariachis, just chilling with everyone else. There are a lot of mariachi bands. Last night we were here too, and there were three mariachi bands playing at the same time. 
so it's kind of a mess. Yeah, <laughs> you couldn't really hear anything. Exactly where we were, you could hear the three of them pretty loudly, so it just sounded crazy. Yeah, we're and just gonna chill here for the rest of the night. Maybe we're gonna go to a different restaurant or bar. Another rooftop. Another rooftop. Yeah. And what do you think about San Miguel? Oh. Uh, <laughs> so now I want to know what Janik thinks about San Miguel de Allende because his expectations were super high. Yeah, since everybody told me to come here, it's like the coolest place ever. So here's what I think. I think it's a very charming town. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a small town, so maybe two days are enough to see most of it, right? Yes. It's very different to a, a city like Guadalajara. Guadalajara is huge, there are so many things to do. And here, it's mostly like hanging out in restaurants or rooftop bars. I'm spending a lot of money, it's so expensive. Spending a lot of money. I wouldn't move here. I would prefer to move to Tlaquepaque because Tlaquepaque is right next to Guadalajara and I need a bigger city. Yeah, you have the feeling of a small town with a bigger city. There yeah. Too. And here is just small town. <laughs> and here is just small town, a very nice town. Yes, I think I agree that you could see it in maybe two days, but if you want to experience all the rooftop bars and all the restaurants and if you have a lot of money to do so, <laughs> then you probably need more time because there's so many cool places like that. Yeah. And I haven't seen the areas around the city. Mm. So I don't know if there's something to see. If some of you moved here from the US to San Miguel de Allende or are planning on moving here, let us know the reason why in the comments so we can finally Understand discover you guys. <laughs> yeah, this mystery. <laughs> but did you like it? Yeah, I like this trip. Yeah, I, I, I would come back. Trip. Yeah, I love it too. It's like a romantic place somehow. It is. Yeah, it's kind of romantic. As you can see, well, Right now, not really, but there's one guy. <laughs> but everybody's just sitting around. Feels nice. Also, we got amazing weather. So it just makes it more enjoyable. <laughs> For now, um, I think it was a success. I loved our small trip. Yeah, me too. It was worth it. If you guys have been to San Miguel de Allende, let us know in the comments. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> Adios, muchachos. Cheers. Very good, yeah. The best churro you've had? Maybe. Oh, mm. oh I like it. I love churros. <laughs> We've been eating the whole video. I think this video is I think so too. Like food. <laughs>